Hello, and thanks for watching. Today I'd just like to do a quick little range review of the Chiapa Little Badger. Most of you have probably heard of this little guy. It's just a folding single shot and 22 LR. Paid $170 for this. And it's actually turned out to be one of my favorite little 22s. It's really fun to just sit down with a single shot and plink away. You don't burn up too much ammo. It's fairly accurate. Weighs nothing. Fits anywhere. Looks cute. Super tactical. See, we got our four rails. A weird little rail that fits nothing I have. I, there's supposed to be like a little handle that comes there with uh, the kit, but I didn't get that. Another little feature. This end cap comes off here. This little badger has a threaded barrel. If you're putting on the silencers we're not allowed to have. If you want to put on a giant flash hider, that'd be cool too, I guess. So yeah, just gonna take this, shoot some targets. Got some little propane tanks set up, paper targets, 50 yards. Just uh, do some shooting. Uh, today I'll be shooting CCI shorts, just for fun, and some Federal uh, 22 long that I put in there. CCI box. Yeah, let's get shooting. It's hot, very humid. Skeeters are out. Supposed to have another thunderstorm here. It's been raining like crazy. I'm gonna start out with the Federal. Yeah, it couldn't be easier. Toss her in there. Hammer actuated. No real safety other than the hammer itself. Just comes with a little lifter, lifts the brass up. You can pull it out. Pop another one in. Bang! This whole wire stock is surprisingly comfortable to shoot. It's not like there's any recoil. It's not like the firearm weighs anything. So it's kind of irrelevant how comfortable the stock is. Just put your cheekbone down on the wire. I don't mind this Federal, this cheap Federal 22. It's definitely better than that fucking Winchester garbage. You see the Chiapa, it looks like it's all, it's not. It's actually, it's got a nice metal guard, trigger. It's well built, sturdy. This has at least 700 rounds through it. I've had new shooters on it, experienced shooters. It's spent all day, literally all day, just shooting in other people's hands. People just love this thing. And I'll just show you. Get a rear aperture sight and just kind of an AR or uh, I guess that'd be like a Ruger front post there thingy. It's nice, it's nice to shoot. The, the sights are all plastic, but it's totally fine. Let's take those cans down. Those green cans really 
blend in well with that green backdrop. One that I can actually see is the one that I can't hit. This is getting ridiculous. I'm gonna have to edit this out so I don't look so I don't look bad. Where the fuck are these going? Probably gonna watch the video later and be like, ah, you dumb son of a bitch. There we go. Shoot way off to the side and, and shake the rifle around. That's the key. Uh, how about I go put those things back up? Shoot some shorts. God damn it. Let's see if I can take those cans down. I think this thing is definitely due for cleaning, that's for sure. There we go. I, I don't think these shorts are as accurate as a long. I guess I picked them up more for novelty than anything. There we go. But it's probably just me. Or maybe not, I don't know. There we go. I think what we'll end up doing with the rest of these shorts is uh, putting them in the old pump action. Do a video for that. Still not very consistent. But with that big front uh, plastic front post and the plastic rear aperture in this sun, in this heat, in this humidity, I'm, uh, I'm not really going to complain. I don't think I've cleaned this thing in two in a while anyway. I'll probably do for a good cleaning. But that's it for today. That's the Chiapa Little Badger. Maybe I'll do a follow-up video after I've cleaned it and maybe have some better shooting conditions and less excuses because it really is a, one of my favorite little 22s. Maybe next time we'll even stretch it out to 100 meters. That'll be our Chapter 2 video. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good one.